Okay, recording. We're here with Yorick from the FreeCAD project. We're going through the aquaponics greenhouse structure design within FreeCAD, and here's the work so far. Yorick, take it away. Okay, so we at the moment have this section, which is where we try to study these little details. Uh huh. And we already have two ready modules, which uh, the roof module, which is this one. This is the roof module, so you have a sheet with all the components. Uh -huh. And then we have this profile, which is the side profile with a little dent that is used to hook to the wall panel and then you have this assembly here mm -hmm. which shows basically how the panel is assembled yep it's it Where includes uh, somewhat of an exploded part diagram a little yes bit. Mm -hmm. maybe we need to make it a little bit better a little bit more understandable yeah uh, but that's the ig that's the and idea then you have this object, which is the mounted panel, which is what will be used in the final model. Mm -hmm. This object is is the is one object, and that will be used to mount the, the final file, which will be the big assembly showing the whole the whole project. Yeah. So we've got and the roof module and anything else. And then we have a wall module which is basically similar to the roof panel. Mm -hmm. Very it nice. It has a list of components and it's a little bit shorter. Mm -hmm. yep. And in the same system you have one list of components, one assembly scheme and the final mm -hmm. objects which will be used uh, to mount the Yep. Uh, the final project. All this is parametric. That means that this piece, for example, if you change its length, let's say it now has 20 feet, mm -hmm. you see it everywhere. Yep. That piece gets updated. Yeah, that's good. So it's all parametric, and you can pretty easily change things on the way or. Um, make a slight modifications can you show the detail of the aluminum extrusion for the double wall glazing yes um, that's basically I want to show it here let me revert to the same version ah, shit. sometimes we still have a crush of two That's why one needs to save often. Oops. Ah, just close it. Okay. So this is the detail of the aluminium profile. So you mm -hmm. have a bottom profile, which is fixed to this side lumber. Yep. And then you insert the polycarbonate here and then you press it with that yeah. upper profile you have lots of those different profiles depending on the, on the um, provider but they all work the same way like it all works like that and then you you have to finish with silicone yep uh, to make it uh, watertight. watertight yeah so i have a question on i looked at the prices of those a few years ago and at that point the cost of the entire gl glazing structure was doubled over the polycarbonate so so the aluminum extrusion trim doubles the price essentially and I was thinking maybe we can use very simple steel strips that are painted for corrosion resistance but basically long steel strips which will get the price of those uh, the trim on that down by a factor of about 10 or so uh, so that's one thing we might want to consider anyone who's listening to this if you've got any ideas but um, the figure appears to be about for any panel, the trim for for bonding bounding any panel 
adds pretty much twice the price for these 16 foot long, four, 16 by 4 foot long panels. I'd be interested in comments about that if anyone has any. Yeah, that would work actually. The problem is to... Because you need the caulk anyway. You need to do caulk at the end anyway. There's yeah. no no solution that the, avoids caulk. The main problem is that the side of the polycarbonate panel is pretty fragile. And that's yeah. why those perfect aluminum profiles are interesting because they don't harm the border of the panel. Right, right. And um, if you do that by simply placing the panel on top of the lumber and then having a metal strip on top that you screw down uh -huh. you might uh, you might harm the border of the of the panel yeah could be you can set the setting on a screw gun to accommodate for that though yeah so that you're just pressing down we've done that before with uh, when we done it we've done the polycarbonate panels what we did was actually use wooden wooden trim to do that uh, with wood, it was not a problem. Uh, with metal, we can control the pressure that we screw down. The polycarbonate is actually very strong. I mean, have you have you worked with that? Yes. Mhm. Mm yep. Do you like the polycarbonate? More or less. It's the problem is that it's getting opaque with with time. Do you have, quickly? But do you have any I better mean, solutions you, or? No. You, I mean, the, there are no other solutions. It's or glass or polycarbonate. I mean, I've never seen something made in other material that it's that is. Um, yeah. No, I believe it's... it would be possible to use like those high-end plastics, like uh, uh, PVC, that kind of stuff. But probably it's like much more expensive than glass. So mm -hmm. nobody use, nobody would use that. Okay. So is that uh, is that a summary of all that we have so far? Is there anything else? You also have the title block page with a title block, so basically a technical drawing, as well. Yes, that's that's still a work in progress, uh -huh. and um, it works already. That that would be what would get printed. This list works okay. We need just some dimensions. This is not working well yet, but at some point it will. Okay. Okay, so that's a sum summary of what we have at this point. Thank you for that overview.